so now i want to use all this knowledge to plot a polynomial function or a graph a polynomial function so let us reiterate what are the things that we have seen for graphing the polynomial function one way is to find the tabular form and try to graph it as uh, in a crude manner more knowledgeable way is you follow this algorithm that is find x intercept y intercept if possible because uh, it may happen that they don't have any real roots and uh, you may not be able to get x intercept all the x intercepts right then for graphing it is helpful to check the symmetry that is if f of x and f of minus x are same if it is a even degree polynomial that means you have symmetry about y axis if it is a odd function you can check whether they are symmetric about origin that is f of minus x is minus f of x or uh, typical case is the first symmetry is y is equal to x square it's a even degree polynomial and it is symmetric so once you have drawn here for minus x you have to just keep the mirror image that is how it helps in graphing in a similar manner f y is equal to x cube is a odd degree polynomial and f of minus x is minus of f of x therefore uh, whatever you got about origin if you reflect about origin then you will be able to retain the same shape so you don't have to compute explicitly this this is the way the checking of symmetry helps next identify the zeros x intercepts we have already identified so you have identified the zeros then you identify their multiplicities if you multi uh, if you identify the multiplicities of the polynomials you know the behavior of the polynomials at x intercept you uh, just recollect multiplicity the sum of the multiplicities of all zeros cannot exceed the degree of the polynomial that you have to keep in mind after identifying the multiplicity you know the behavior at the zeros of the polynomial function now you want to know the behavior beyond zeros of the polynomial function that is the end behavior so end behavior you can use the leading term and you can identify the behavior remember the table that we have shown for identifying the end behavior and finally you use the end behavior the behavior at intercepts to sketch the graph turning points the number of turning points can be identified we may not be able to locate exactly where the turning point is for that you need the tools of calculus to identify the exact location of a turning point and when you identify those turn uh, when you roughly estimate the turning points kindly ensure that the number of turning points do not exceed one less than the degree of the polynomial so if the degree of the polynomial is n the number of turning points should not exceed n minus 1 and finally you can use technology to sketch the graph so use graphing tools like desmos or some other tools for graphing the function so let us see this in action so here is an example i want to sketch a graph of this polynomial function x minus 2 square and x minus 5 obviously i have figured out oh it's a minus of x plus 2 the whole square so uh, the first thing that we uh, so i want to graph this function so the first thing that i want to find is the x intercept because it is given in factored form it is no brainer x is equal to minus 2 which is this point x is equal to minus 2 and then uh, x minus 5 so x is equal to 5 which is this point hmm. these two are the uh, zeros of the polynomial functions x is equal to minus 2 has multiplicity 2 it's a even degree polynomial so over here the behavior of function i am trying to sketch 
it will come from here it will go from here so i know the behavior of the function is of this form it will just pass through the axis at x is equal to minus 5 i don't know the exact values but roughly it will it will be more of the linear form and it will pass through the point minus 5 then it will come down over here and then it will pass through this point okay so up to this i am okay now you look at this polynomial if you look at this polynomial then uh, the polynomial will be a cubic polynomial it will have a negative term so essentially a3 is less than 0 okay so the end behavior of this polynomial because a3 is less than 0 as x tends to infinity this function will tend to infinity yes and as x tends to minus infinity the function will naturally go up like this so this is the vague understanding of the behavior if i want to get more precise on what values this, this is roughly the shape of the function if i want to get more precise on what values the function takes i can consider the y intercept as well that is i will put y uh, x is equal to 0 so it will be 2 square 4 2 square 4 yes and uh, into minus 5 that will give me minus 20 plus 20 so this intercept that i have drawn is wrong it should be somewhere here plus 20 so let me uh, erase this and redraw the function again let us take the eraser so it may not go this high as well so over here the fun behavior of the function okay so let me again go back to the marker and the function may cut here itself pass through this point and join this point yes. so this bulge is will not be there because this function is linear over here it may be of this form so let me again erase this part yeah okay so let us see whether our uh, so we have identified the nba where okay final check the number of turning points the function is cubic so it can have at most two turning points there are only two turning points one is here one is here fine so uh, let us see whether uh, whatever we have said is correct or not okay so let me hide this first so x intercept is minus 2 and 5 no problem x is equal to minus 2 has multiplicity 2 so the quadratic behavior should be plotted there yes x is equal to 5 has multiplicity 1 so a linear behavior is plotted here assume this is a line so linear behavior is a plot must be plotted here and then f of y intercept f of 0 is 20 which we corrected we were not correct in the initial stages and the leading term is minus x cube so therefore the odd degree polynomial with negative leading coefficient has the following end behavior x tends to infinity f of x will tend to minus infinity this is the behavior that we have plotted x tends to plus infinity minus infinity f of x tends to infinity this is also correct and f can have at most 3 minus 1 equal to 2 turning points this is the behavior right so now okay i was roughly okay in drawing the graph of a function this is because i don't exactly know the behavior of the turning points so i will be roughly okay in drawing the graph of a function but not exactly if you want to be more precise you can actually tabulate the values around some critical points and then you can uh, figure out this is when the formula is given to you now the question can be asked that what if the formula is not given to you but you have been given only a function 
and from the graph you need to identify the polynomial in such cases one theorem which will help you a lot i will not use this theorem in a rigorous manner but it will help you a lot is intermediate value theorem because we are dealing with continuous functions this intermediate value theorem is valid for all continuous functions what this theorem says is a polynomial function is a continuous function so let f be a polynomial function then the intermediate value theorem states that if f of a and f of b have opposite signs that means let us say f of a is greater than 0 and f of b is less than 0 and a is less than b then there exists at least one c between a and b such that f of c is equal to 0 that is essentially the meaning for example uh, i have this coordinate plane my value of f of a is here and f of b is here and the function that that is given to me is a continuous function right so finally it has to pass through the x axis to reach the value here right? so in such cases we will say that this is the zero of the polynomial that is what we are calling as c f of c so you, using this you when you are actually having trouble in finding the zeros of the function you can actually evaluate two values any two values of opposite signs and if you evaluate the any two values of opposite signs then you know that there is some root some zero in between that will improve uh, that you will gain a confidence by doing these things so this is an important theorem in mathematics intermediate value theorem you can use this to find the roots of the polynomial when you are having difficulty in identifying the roots of the polynomial so you simply put f of a and f of b if they have opposite sign then there is at least one root in between that's the meaning you can use this theorem to your advantage so using this theorem we can actually derive a formula for polynomial function you use this theorem to identify the zeros the rest of the methodology is similar so how to derive a formula for polynomial functions so given a graph of a polynomial how to find with in coordinate axis uh, you have all the numbers attached to it then the question can be asked as to how to find the polynomial function the algebraic expression of a polynomial function so in that case our modus operandi is similar to what we have done find the x intercepts from the graph find the factors of the polynomial this we already know understand the behavior of x intercepts around x intercepts to get more understanding of the x intercepts that is zeros of the polynomial about their multiplicities so you will find multiplicity of each factor once you have gained understanding identify the end behavior that also you have to do next after doing that you find the least poly, uh, least degree polynomial containing these factors what are what are the factors those are x intercepts that you have figured out you have also seen the end behavior so the least degree polynomial which will give you that particular function uh, behavior once the least degree polynomial is figured out you use any point on the graph that is why the coordinate axis is important the numbers are important you use any point on the graph in particular y intercept is the easiest and in that case you can determine the stretch factor ah, the stretch factor over here is the unknown a that i have told you while figuring out the factors in one of the examples so that is the stretch factor it will be more clear when we will solve the examples okay so this is our uh, recipe for attacking the problem of deriving the formula given a graph so let us try to apply this recipe to one example so write the formula of a polynomial given in the graph the graph is here okay so i uh, so i will go around 
and try to find the x intercepts of this graph so one x intercept is here which i think is x is equal to 1 and the other x intercept is minus 2 so minus 2 and 1 are the x intercepts y intercept over here is minus 2 0 minus 2 is the y intercept so we have identified x and y intercepts hmm. the graph actually seem to have two turning points so the least degree uh, if it has two turning points the least degree polynomial will be because n minus 1 is equal to 2 so the least degree polynomial should be cube degree 3 polynomial right ok and since it is crossing over uh, this uh, end behavior from end behavior also you will have some understanding that it is ok yeah it should be a odd degree polynomial so therefore the polynomial may be of degree 3 correct it should be an odd degree polynomial it has only two turning points so the least poly, uh, degree of the polynomial is 3 ok now what you will do next next i want to identify the multiplicities that is x is equal to 1 it the function more or less seems to be linear and at x is equal to minus 2 the function more or less seems to be quadratic so it's very easy in this case because x is equal to minus 2 is a even degree behavior x is equal to because it is bouncing off so it's a even degree behavior and x is equal to 1 is linear behavior and and the polynomial is of degree 3 or more uh, but odd degree so the fir the first instance is you guess the function to be of the form x plus 2 the whole square into x minus 1 huh. so now i have not yet used the information that the intercept the y intercept is happening at minus 2 correct so that information i have to use now because that is the function value that i have these are the based on factors we are basically equating to 0 right so the a may be may be missed out so where the non zero value comes you should be able to figure out you can you are free to choose any value but for me it is better to choose y intercept so y intercept is minus 2 we have already seen that but if you put uh, what is y intercept it is f of 0 so if you put this in the function form the value of 0 in the function form over here you will get actually this is to be equal to minus 4 times a yeah so if you are getting this to be equal to minus 4 times a then minus 4 times a must be equal to minus 2 that means a must be equal to half great so if a is equal to half you substitute this value into the function so fx is half times x plus 2 square x minus 1 fantastic so you have you got an algebraic expression now to match this algebraic expression you use the technology that is graphing tool to plot the function and you can verify the result for yourself that yes this is the function that we have actually plotted ok so this is the complete understanding of two step mission that is given an algebraic expression how to graph the polynomial function given the graph of a polynomial function how to write an algebraic expression of a polynomial function this ends our topic on polynomial functions. Thank you.